When police reports are not available, newspaper articles are my go-to for information on unsolved homicides and missing persons, especially older cases, where reporters had a lot more access to officials and the cases they were investigating. The first week of reporting is where you will find the most crucial information. Now watch, listen, as we go back in time to keep this unsolved case in the spotlight so the victim's family and friends had the possibility and maybe even the probability of getting resolution and justice in their case. This is their story. Center Daily Times, November 29th, 1969, Saturday, page 1. Headline, Murder Likely in Co-Ed Death at Petit Library. The death of a 22-year-old university graduate student in the Petit Library on campus late yesterday afternoon resulted from a puncture wound of the chest, Rockview State Police reported after an autopsy early today. Betsy Ruth Arzma was pronounced dead at the Rittenauer Health Center at the university at 5.30 p.m. She was admitted there at 5.20 p.m. and attempts to resuscitate her were performed. The girl reportedly was found about 5 p.m. on the second floor corridor between the east and west sections of the library, an area containing many book stacks. Officials said her body was on the floor. No weapon was found. She was the second Ottawa County, Michigan girl murdered this year. Margaret Phillips, 25, a graduate student at the University of Michigan, was killed in Ann Arbor during the recent series of murders of which two men are being held for trials. The autopsy was completed about 3 a.m. today at the Center County Hospital by Dr. Thomas Magnani, hospital pathologist. Center County Coroner W. Robert Neff of Howard said no motive for the apparent laying developed at the autopsy. He said the girl's clothing was in order and there was no indication she had been criminally assaulted. Rockview State Police referred to the death as a possible homicide, but the coroner was more positive. I'm quite certain she was slain, he said, pointing to the absence of a weapon as a major factor. Ms. Ardsma arrived in State College in September as a graduate student in English. She lived in Atherton Hall on the campus. Her parents are Mr. and Mrs. R.C. Ardsma of 117 East 37th Street, Holland, Michigan. Police closed off the section of the library in which the body was found until they have completed their investigation there. They declined to comment on the circumstances or to identify who discovered the body. The stacks are in almost constant use by students and others, and an official commented that the attack must have been swift and sure not to have aroused the attention of other library users. The victim was born in Holland, Michigan, July 11, 1947, was graduated from Holland High School in 1965, and attended Hope College in Holland. She was graduated from the University of Michigan last spring. The investigation is being handled through Sergeant Daniel Brody of the Rockview State Police and the University Security Office, headed by William C. Pelton. State Police appealed to anyone having any knowledge of what happened or who may have been in the library about the time the girl's body was found to get in touch with them immediately. At least two other slayings involving students have occurred at the university. In March 1941, Rachel Taylor, a freshman co-ed, also lived at Atherton Hall, was found slain in the driveway of the Lamont Elementary School. In spite of an investigation which continued for many years, her death is as much of a mystery today as the day it happened. On September 23, 1967, a student, Charles Miller, was shot and stabbed to death in his rooming home in State College. Alfonso Westinghouse Kyles of Washington, D.C. was found guilty of murder in the second degree by a Center County jury. He is now in the State Correctional Institution at Huntington awaiting hearing on an appeal from the verdict. If you or someone you know has information on this case, please contact your local authorities or contact me, Detective Ken Maines, at www.kenmaines.com. 
And remember, it's not about the prosecution or the defense. It's about the truth.